what is going on guys this is your boy rich hits man book rich hits so today of course is tuesday so we're going to be doing photoshop tutorial tuesdays hopefully you guys are doing great this morning or afternoon nighttime whatever time you're watching this video uh so we're going to be doing a quick tutorial of just designing at least the way that i design my story borders for uh instagram reels or for my instagram story if i'm promoting a video that i just recently created So I just recently did a fitness video I just created for a friend of mine. I'm gonna play the video right here. And then I'm gonna show you guys the border that I created for uh, my Instagram reel, how I dropped the video. It's pretty sick guys like you see I have the text at the top and then a couple of pictures of him that I took that day so this tutorial can actually be used not with just a fitness video it can be used with anything like if you did a video on photography street photography product shoot and you just want to create a dope border that you can promote it on social media as far as your Instagram story or your Instagram reel this would actually help you guys out a lot. So I'm gonna dive into Photoshop and show you exactly how I do that. It's really simple, man. Stick with me and stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are now currently in Photoshop. And at the top here, I have all the elements that I'll be using, except for my logo. I'll drop that in later. So let's go ahead and start dropping the photos in. Um, I already unlocked the layers. All I'm gonna do is just drag and drop. These are gonna be pretty big files. So I shot them on my Sony a7 III. We're actually gonna make these photos a lot smaller. All right, let's just hit enter there. Now, but we can go ahead and turn all the layers off except for the background layer. Uh, what I like to do with the background layer, I like to Command J, so that's gonna duplicate it. And then let's get Command I that's gonna invert it. So if it's black, it's gonna turn white. If it's white, it's gonna turn black. And then I like to rotate it because we're gonna use this as a video guideline. So we're gonna use this as if it's a video guideline for us. This is gonna be the size of what the video is. And then I'm just gonna bring a border. I'm gonna bring some guides down. Now we don't need that layer anymore. This area, we already know it's gonna act as if it's our uh, video all right so this one right here I like to go ahead and hit command and just drag it up make it look like it's uh it has some perspective to it and we're just gonna hit enter on that so you see where the video would be so we can actually shrink this down some And just move it on actually let's shrink it down just a little bit more and then we're going to bring it up so we want to bring it up some because I'm a feather the edges here and of course this is where the video would be so to do that we're just gonna go ahead and make a layer mask we're just gonna grab a brush downsize the brush a little bit and like I said in my previous video if the layer mask is white you want to paint black so let's just go ahead and start erasing a little bit so if I turn that layer off that's what it's going to look like and then let's go ahead and start working on the top I'm just going to take the photos that I took and then we're just going to drop the opacity I'd say about four, it's about 50. 50 is fine. And then we're gonna hit Command U. And I like to take the saturation all the way down, or at least down to about 73%. Once we have that, we can just go ahead and group these together. make a layer mask because we want to get this bottom line out of there so let's go ahead and grab this rectangle selection tool select that area 
we're gonna right click and we're just gonna fill it with black it's gonna be like a centerpiece for the design itself and then what I'm gonna do here is just take the pen tool I already created our layer mask I'm gonna just take the pen tool what's going on guys so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified for every time that I upload a video I definitely plan on doing more Photoshop tutorials for the future at least every Tuesday we're gonna drop a new tutorial for you guys if you have any more suggestions just go ahead and drop that down below and I'll make sure to push out a video for you All right, so once we have that, it looks pretty nice already. Um, there's, of course, little edges that I need to clean up around his head. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a layer underneath the subject layer, and then I'm going to use black, and I wanna get a, a like a shadow under him. So we're just gonna make this brush bigger. Let's go ahead and make a layer mask on the shadow. Hit the rectangle selection tool. Let's go ahead and fill that with black so we can get rid of that. Now we need to have some words on the side. I had no excuse and then on this side I had keep pushing. So let's go ahead and knock that out. So in my design, I did have some type of accents, like some paint accents. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and create a layer right here. I'm going to take the color directly off his shirt by clicking the paint bucket there and just clicking on his shirt. So I wanted that color. Go over to your brushes. Let's go ahead and play with this. And I'm not going to use a layer mask this time. I'm going to just go ahead and Use the rectangle marquee and just hit Command J, which is going to duplicate the top and it's going to cut off the bottom. Because we want our video to show right here, um, all we're going to do is on the black layer here, we're going to go and use the rectangle marquee and then we're going to go backspace. Now this area is gonna be transparent. Once you have went and created your banner that you're gonna be using for your promo video, go ahead and save it as a PNG and then drop it over in Premiere Pro and I'll see you there. All right guys, now that we have Premiere Pro open, let's go ahead and double click. Let's go to our desktop. Let's find the border and then let's find the video. So the good way to do this is to go ahead and just drop in the border first. Once the border is set, let's drag it up. And then you wanna drop the video right underneath it. So from here, you can go ahead and move it where you need it to be. All right, once I have it in, I always like to size it up just a little bit just to be on the safe side. And IG stories is 15 seconds. IG reels is gonna be, you know, 30 seconds, 15 to 30. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it at 30 seconds just for the sake of this video. And then I'm gonna cut it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and export it. Yo guys, so once you go ahead and export the video, 
um, you just airdrop it to your phone if you have a Mac or send it to your email save it to Google Drive download the video however way you want to save it to your phone you go ahead and do that and then just drop it on your IG drop it on your story drop it on your Facebook story snapchat whatever it is that you use to promote yourself just go ahead and drop it that way i know this was a little bit longer tutorial but that's fine with me if you guys like it please go ahead and comment down below let me know uh, that it worked for you and if you want to go ahead and follow me on my instagram at rich hits and stay tuned for the next video man i got something to store for you guys Peace.